The Malum and Devitatus are a Ravengard's successor chapter from the 13th Dark Founding. Their name translates into the necessary evil in High Gothic. The chapter prides itself in covert warfare, and thus they in time diminished or eliminated their heraldry's most striking features in order to make it harder for their foes to understand their command structure in the heat of battle. In that spirit, no brother shouts a single mantra or war cry as they charge into battle. Apart from that, the Mainlum and Devitatus brothers are proficient in use of psychological manipulation and terror tactics, though not to the extent or kind practiced or exercised by the Night Lords or their alleged brethren, the Carcharodont Astra. They use their eerie voices not to announce their intent or creed, but to unsettle their opponents, especially in urban environments where the background of a chaotic battlefield is absent, and their terrifying otherworldly murmurs, chants and bellows mingle with the ubiquitous hum of hive cities. Yet when open field engagement is due, the rare instance of hearing their war cry occurs. The veterans of the first company alone will then proclaim their unwavering allegiance to the long-term vision of the Emperor of Mankind, by shouting, The Emperor wills, we brothers must. The chapter's specialities are stealth, assassination, espionage, urban warfare and attrition warfare. Its hallmarks are the surgical precision and relentless pursuit of its goals, no matter the cost implied or strategy required. Each company has its own speciality, although every company is to be considered more than well versed in all the aspects of stealth based engagement. Interestingly, while in general the chapter seems to follow the Codex Astartes, with the exception of certain terminology quirks, it features two prevalent deviations. First, there are no Devastator Marines of the Malum and Devitatus, with the Tech Marines taking up the role of heavy support. And there is a scout company, but it does not operate on its own, since its duties are being distributed across all units of the chapter. Instead, every squad operating in the field is using a number of scouts. A scout is not considered worthy of full induction into the chapter until he has completed one coven tour as a member of two different companies. Those two deviations stem from the distinct battle doctrine of the Malum in Devitatus and their willingness to demonstrate flexibility when it comes to improving their combat and operational effectiveness. Their choice of tactics, deemed dishonourable for the Astarte standards, has lent Creed to an increased level of mistrust amongst the chapter from their fellow marines. Few chapters have willingly accepted a joint assignment with the Melum and Devitatus without the subtle pressure of the High Lord's Terror, other than the Raptors, who consider them highly, and nearly all other Ravenguard successors, who harbour amicable sentiments towards them. Other chapters that have reportedly worked in concert with them are the likes of the Sons of Medusa, the Minotaurs, or the Cacarodons, which has led to an even greater mistrust from the wider Astartes forces despite the well-attested for and widely proclaimed loyalty of the Malum Devitatus. The chapter is looked upon with distrust by their more honour-oriented brethren for their willingness to prioritise usefulness over race, belief or allegiance. They will shamelessly ally with the Heretic or the Xenos for a short-term part of their plan, so as to further their own plan, only to purge them with impunity later as per the Emperor's will. They are master manipulators, albeit secretly, as they will not boast or demonstrate the feats of their dark endeavours. The Malum and Devitatus believe in utter secrecy, and the extent of their talents are known only to themselves, their closest allies, and the High Lords of Terror. They are hardline pragmatists. If a machination allows them greater efficiency, they will not shy away from it out of xenophobic or zealous spite. That all, of course, does apply to Chaos Spawn and cults too, with the obvious difference of the extreme internal prejudice. If a brother is suspected to be tainted, the librarian will run rigorous tests before, more often than not, purging the marine. The Malum in Devitatus holds no world to call its home. The chapter covens blur the lives between crusade and predation, each one being independent enough to operate for long in relative seclusion. Instead, the chapter's headquarters are on board their battle barge and fortress monastery, the fabled Nidus Sacer. 